Hello, beloved. Thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. Welcome. This will be your message from God, the big G-O-D, the biggest Lolo, okay? If you're keen or interested in booking me for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. Let us tap in and talk to God. Let us find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? All right, God, talk to us, please. big deal here all right something is a big deal something is a big deal i'm seeing a whole lot of aces here yeah the empress something is a very big deal let's tap in all right we have the six of cups so this is family So this Six of Cups energy, this is Scorpio energy, all right? So with the Six of Cups, it's like remembrance of you, memories of you. But this is linked to your family. Cups. 
It's like Ace of above, uh, below the King of Pentacles. It's like Ace of Pentacles is like an inheritance, a spiritual. It's either a spiritual inheritance, an actual inheritance. Something that was kept from you here, a secret, a truth, something really big. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Your family spent a lot of hard work and dedication and devotion trying to keep this secret under wraps for as long as possible, your whole life. They try to do this until you, like your whole life here, like keep this from you until death. This was a secret that was never meant to be in, like publicized. This was something that you were never meant to know. Mm. This definitely has to do with money here, all these pentacles. Money that they didn't want you to have, your family, Money that, see, I feel like something happened where there was something of yours that was worth a lot. You know, this could be the spiritual inheritance, a gift, a power, a tool, a weapon, an ability that you could produce, that you have, you are, you possess, who you are identified to be somehow. There's a gift, a blessing, a favor upon that calling on your life, right? This is what they try to destroy. This is what they try to keep a secret. And then there's actual money involved here as well. Money that they were hoping you never receive, you never have, because they wanted you to be destroyed before you can even attain it, work towards it, have thoughts of having it, like, this is like child from childhood here. They started working on you from childhood using witchcraft, voodoo, and black magic. They were specifically working on your crown chakra, your mind, your crown chakra, your mind, okay? They wanted you to not know nothing. They wanted you to be like a num num, like a dum dum, like a teddy bear. They wanted you to be that type of person whose mind doesn't function properly. They wanted you mentally ill and sickly so that you were controllable. And if this money hits, they would have it. And even if it doesn't, they didn't want you to have it. So. Without your mind, you wouldn't have been able to think your way through life. Look at that Ten of Pentacles. You wouldn't have been able to attain anything for yourself, let alone just money, you wouldn't have been able to function properly. But there's a lot of money involved here, beloved, a huge inheritance here, something really big here, the will of fortune, something that could change your whole life that was kept from you here, yeah, the high priestess, a heavy family secret that has been kept from you for a very long time. Like, everyone played a huge role in doing this, everyone had a role to play, like, you got to act this way towards her, towards him. They got to know you as this person. Don't ever change how you, you how you handle her, handle him. Like, you were like a task, a project, a prototype to these people. They wanted to have your mind controlled and have everything that is of you come to them. Oh, all these pentacles. Like, I'm talking like... This is something that could change your whole entire life here, as you know it. This spiritual inheritance, this financial inheritance, this family secret. Being, this truth can change your whole life. God is saying this truth of your family can change your whole life. Let's continue tapping in here. So the secret is out, firstly, that they dibble and dabble in, in witchcraft, not only dibble and dabble, it's like the, the community um, your family resides in, they know them as people that do witchcraft, black magic, and voodoo. They're no longer looked at upon with respect 
it's like they're looked at in a way that like you gotta get away from these people like you can't even be around these people they're blaming you they feel like it's your fault <laughs> god is saying they're still delusional but yeah beloved what i'm seeing here is like things really took a turn here things just took flight in terms of like things becoming unintendedly deep when it came to your life like Things were a particular way, and then there, there was a trajectory, a shift. Something occurred here. Something that was powerfully orchestrated by God as a vessel, a catalyst. Whether it came as a good tower or a bad tower, but the role that the, that tower was meant to play was to get you out of these people's energy. You are not. You are someone that is not meant to be associated with your family. You are someone that is meant to be a child of God, an orphan to the blood of that those people. And you are meant to possess different ancestors. Your ancestors don't come from that bloodline. They come from a bloodline of other people that existed upon switch the families here. The mothers and the fathers side switch the family that you know, it's like, you are, you are not meant to, this particular family that deals and dabbles and depends on witchcraft, voodoo, and black magic, you are not associated with them even by ancestry bloodline. It's like things happen, beloved, where certain ancestors are assigned to us because our path is already forewritten by God. It was already declared that they would betray you and you were meant to walk a different path. Hence, you turn out differently. They are cursed. You are not. You are not in a karmic cycle. You are not. These are people that wanted you to take upon the responsibility of their curse. We have the Seven of Wands. It's like ancestors and ancestry lineage goes back to 1400s. I'm talking about BC. You know what I'm saying? People that like can like identify the same as you in that same family, not the specific generation. They're alive. They ain't no ancestors. They're just people that are meant to play a role in your life and they have failed you. But the true ancestors that walk with you don't reside in the same spirit as these people. You don't, you're not destined to be cursed is what I'm seeing here. Your finances are not destined to be like depleted or you, you are not meant to not have, you know what I'm saying? You have the seven of wands here and the nine of pentacles reversed, but I'm being called to take it upright. We have the ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles, beloved, like this wealth, I feel like this is more than just money, it's abundance. Certain people are meant to be abundant and experience abundance of life and they're meant to be blessings and serve as answers to those around them. And if they get betrayed, you as that person, you are betrayed. You are meant to share your blessings with people that actually deserve them. People that are actually in alignment with you. People that actually are good. Not those that just want you to dog you, control you and beat you and bewitch you and kill you and destroy you. I mean, what is that? Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to get worked up about that one. It's just over. It's just a no. It's over. Okay? It's done here. No. Ashe? We have the Knight of Swords. I mean, going on to take the Knight of Swords, but here we go. We spoke about the tower here. Mm, okay. It's like these people's lives, beloved, it's like things are falling apart crazy. Like, you 
You know when you don't expect something to happen and it happens and it's like you have to deal with the consequence. This is what's happening. We have a fool here. And then um, the temperance reversed. These are like people that are in shock, like they didn't expect life to hit the way it has. Like this is shocking to them. They're still just beginning to process everything, how everything has turned out, who you have become, what is going on and this and that. It's like, it's all gonna be an ongoing thing. God is saying, let these people serve their years of karma. Let them sit in the bed that they made. Let them lay in it and they can, You know what I'm saying? They can dine that part up too. You know what I'm saying? God is saying you protected yourself by remaining in your energy, not allowing them to break you out of your character, not allowing them to get to you, not allowing them to do you the way they wanted you to be done. You did the opposite of what they expected. You are in the opposite predicament of what they had envisioned. So imagine that shock. Oh, also imagine the guilt. Because these are people that didn't expect things to turn this deep. They didn't even expect you to know what was going on. Let's just stop there. So imagine what's going on right now within them. Let alone just them grouping up in a bundle. A bunch. Just Take that away. Individually, they roll. Imagine the guilt. Imagine what's eating at them inside. Imagine the filth within their spirit that they have to sit with looking at you in a different predicament and walking with God while you're at it. I mean, beloved, it's a scary sight for people who didn't think that was possible. That's the whole point of God cloaking the ones that he blesses to be a blessing to others. You can never tell until it's time. And God will test you using the vessel, the catalyst. And you were that to your family. And they betrayed you. They betrayed your trust. They didn't even have no morale virtue within themselves. They treated themselves like peasants. So why are you going to give and extend your energy to anyone like that? It's not family. There's no title. Uncle, mother, father, brother, sister, grandmother, grandfather. It's nothing like that. If you bewitched me, you lied to me, you stole from me what's mine, what's through, I want nothing to do with you. It ain't about nothing else outside of the fact that you are a devil of a person. A shape of it. You didn't deserve that. It's like, I swear these people didn't expect you to hit this milestone in your life. Like, they didn't expect things to get this far. I feel like these are people that didn't even expect you to be alive at this point. Like, there's something coming out here about... It's a shock that you're even still alive. It's like, it's just miracles at this point. Like... It's like a wave of shock. Like people can't really, these people can't process this. And by the way, it's gonna take many years for the truth to sink in. It does. It takes a while. It takes a while for things to sink in, good and bad. It takes a while for you to process the good that God does. It takes a while for you to experience, to process the protection that is upon your life. It takes a while for you to process who God has called you to be, the position you're in, the comfort of your lifestyle. It takes a while for you to. Understand the relationship you have with God. Everything takes time. And those that are impatient are those that want to bear time with their free will. People that do this voodoo, black magic, witchcraft. People that manipulate, shape shift, project. People that don't know God. They don't even pray. They don't even believe. So what are you going to tell them? They're lost. But they're gonna tell you that you are lost. That you are dumb. What is a little prayer gonna do? See, that's the difference between you and them. The vibration is not the same. Clearly. And that's okay. 
but don't come at that. You know, everybody just gotta stay in their lane, man, and mind their business and leave each other alone. And everybody do what they do. And even behind the scenes, don't kick, 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 kick about anyone as well. You know what I'm saying? Just let people just be. But beloved, coming back to the energy of your family here, they didn't understand that you had this sort of integrity within you. It wasn't clear at the time that you were going to possess that, those sort of qualities. It wasn't clear at the time that that is who you were meant to become. Of course not. Why would it be? Of course they would have acted in a particular way. God wanted them to see who they are through you. God wanted every single thing to happen the way he did, down to the secret being kept, down to them trying to block you, down to them thinking they have blocked you, down to them acting the way they did to block you. It's like God watched and accepted and permitted and at the same time orchestrated your life in a manner that will protect their actions from hitting you, blocking your life, your pathway. They can never win. At this point, they just have to accept that. Let's tap in further. All right, let's go one more round. Life the hell alone. 
And the more they keep trying to come after you, is the more their life will be hindered, the more their life will fall apart, and the more their things will fall apart as well. Because they're tied down to their little voodoo, witchcraft, and black magic that they thought was so powerful that the almighty God, right? Then stay at that with your little deities and idols and concepts of life. I'm out of here. Be cool to end this. Stay and stand in your power, beloved. Do not ever reconnect with anyone in your family. This has to be something that becomes a powerful tool for you. Everything that they've tried to put you through, make sure you apply better in your life. Be a better mom, better dad. Be a better person, better wife, a better girlfriend, a better husband. Be a better boyfriend. Be a better sister, brother. Be a better something to somebody that actually deserve it. You can call another person's sister. You don't have to hold on to the trauma of a sister that is of quote unquote blood, that betrayed you. You know, for example, maybe you meet someone that you really feel close to and you, you confide in them as a sister. Don't ever hold on to the trauma of like, oh, but the, no, like, or like God gives you someone to replace someone that it's like you don't understand what God has, what God is doing, but keep moving forward, beloved. You know what I'm saying? And keep also choosing to heal. In a situation where you feel triggered, choose healing. In a situation where you feel triggered, choose healing. In a situation where you choose healing, you choose to calm down, right? Because if you are triggered and you choose to do something about it, but if you're triggered and you choose to heal, it means you choose to calm down. Choose to calm down. Choose to calm down. And choose yourself. You're not anyone's puppet, lapdog, or sicko of a person that won't I gotta be controlled. Oh, oh like what is what is going on, y'all? I'm out, Ashe. Thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This was your message from God, the biggest Lord of the big G O D. All right. If you're keen to love it on booking me, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. I'm telling you nothing but love until next time. Goodbye.